I know a lot of people take issue with my beliefs. I'm white. Um, I don't think you are. I'm a Caucasian because everything about me is different from an African American. Come on, is it really different? I'm different from African Americans because I'm white. My figure is just like Kim Kardashian, and she's a wonderful role model. Um, there's a lot of wrong things in that sentence, but I believe the worst part is that she said Kim Kardashian is a great role model. Does she not know what she got famous for? So Dr. Phil has created so much uh, content worthy things on his channel. He has the girl that thinks she's pregnant with Jesus. There is no what if, I am pregnant. And it is Jesus. The spoiled rich brat. I want my mom to understand that I can't live off of a thousand dollars a month and I grew up on a certain lifestyle. She can't just take that away from me immediately. The weird vegan YouTuber. I am the beautiful vegan messiah. And then to top it all off, the girl who thinks she's white. <laughs> I'm white. But before we get into all that, daddy hit 200 subscribers. Thanks for 200 subs. I know a lot of people take issue with my beliefs. I'm white. I'm a Caucasian because everything about me is different from an African American. My nose is not giant, it's like African Americans. My if um, having a big nose determines whether you're white or black, I guess it makes John Krasinski, um... My lips are perfect. They're not too big and they're not too small. Like, they're just perfect. My ears, I don't have black people ears. What is a black person ear? I don't think that's a stereotype. I don't think black people having big ears is that a thing? Because they're really giant. Most African Americans speak ghetto. Yeah, that's true. They actually do have their separate language um, called ghetto. But when it comes to black people, I think they're all ugly and I have nothing in common with them. I believe that I'm completely and um, utterly better than them. See ya. Okay, so first of all, if you're gonna say you're white, Okay, that's a stretch, clearly. Um, but then to be racist tor towards black people? That's horrible! I just don't get how absolutely brain dead this girl has to be. Like, we're on two different levels. Like, okay, African Americans are here, I'm here. Actually, here's how the scale goes. It's furries, people do who do ASMR, and then the black and white people right, right down here. White people act and think just way more mature than African Americans. Black people, they think in a criminal way. Saying black people think in a criminal way is a horrible thing to say. Should never say it. But, no but actually, that's, <laughs> that's it. I don't know how you think in a criminal way. Like, is she thinking that when um, an African American person sees like a nice thing at the store, they're just like, oh, I'm gonna steal that. Cause I don't think that's true. I'm gonna be honest. When I think about African Americans, I feel like asking them, what is wrong with them? They're really dangerous. You can literally say that about any race. Any race is dangerous. Any person is dangerous. Any freaking species is dangerous. But <laughs> you can't be publicly racist towards them for that. Like, I could say the same thing about white people. White people are dangerous. I'm scared of some white people. Like Donald Trump, he's a powerful man. He might beat my arm. If African American is on the same street as I am, I'll cross the street to avoid their chaotic, thuggish ways. Oh my god. It just doesn't stop with this girl. This is literally the content jackpot. Are you okay? I'm irritated. I'm sorry. I just know that I'm white. I mean, she might not know that I'm white, but I know that I'm white. Okay, mom, listen. I know, um, clearly this doesn't mean anything, but I'm white. I'm white! I can feel it through my veins, I feel it through my blood. Yep. Yeah, that's true. You can feel white through your veins and blood. I tell my mom I'll never be like any of those Negroes. My mom tries to criticize me about my supposed race. I tell her she's just ignorant. There's nothing wrong with my views or beliefs. I like how right there she's pretty much just calling her mom stupid. I'm like, yeah, my mom's like super ignorant. Um, clearly she doesn't realize that I am white, but she keeps telling me I'm black. I don't know where she's getting that from. I'm sure my mom and dad are black, but that shouldn't, that shouldn't matter, okay? Okay, Treasure, how are you this morning? I'm pretty great, how are you? I'm all right. That's great. Now you've been listening to everything we've talked about. You can fit a freaking cantaloupe in between the gap in her teeth. 
mean, actually, yeah. You guys called me delusional earlier, and I feel like the only people I did who... not call you delusional. I asked your mother if she thought you were delusional. Yes, well, you asked her that question. I would like to clarify right. the fact that I am nowhere near delusional. I'm actually very capable and a very intelligent person, so... And you say that you believe yourself to be Caucasian. Tell me why you believe that to be true. Well, I know I'm a Caucasian because when I wake up in the morning, I just have such a great life. Is she saying that bla black people can't have great lives? All right, so that concludes the magnificent story of Treasure, the delusional black woman. If you guys enjoy this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you haven't already, feel free to do so. Peace out, guys.